I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And we're back with tasting number two from this very generous box we got in our P.O. box from Roland, one of our viewers from the UK. Thank you. And I'm really looking forward to this one. We have a lot of great looking biscuits, tea cakes. These look delicious. They do. <laughs> I'm yeah. not even sure where to start. And again, thank you, Roland. That was very generous of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we know it costs some money to buy these and also to ship. I know shipping is not cheap um, between countries. So yes. we are very, very appreciative and, and really look forward to trying. You know, some of these we have seen similar items in the store, but a lot of these we've never seen in any of our stores before. So it's really exciting to get some items that we cannot get a hold of here. Mm -hmm. So where should we start? You want to try the fig rolls first? Yes, so would. So we have McVitie's fig rolls, and, and some of our viewers have mentioned these about being similar to our fig newtons, and just yeah. looking at the package, they look similar to fig newtons. So let's uh, try that out. Sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and open. Sure. And also uh, here in the United States, we can we can also pick up fig newtons that come in different flavors. Mm -hmm. I know that one of the stores I would uh, occasionally shop at. Apple, strawberry, uh, yeah, pretty much it besides fig, so yeah. those three flavors. I do like the traditional fig flavor, so. I'd say that's see. my favorite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, blueberry. That's mm. what I don't see very often, but once in a blue moon, blueberry, Newtons. So, ah, uh, that smell, that familiar smell is, yeah, they look very similar. Mm, yeah. you Did you want to split one or? I'll leave it up to you. How do you want to proceed? I'll split it just because we have so much to try here. I'm afraid I'm going to get full. I'll take the small piece. Oh, you're so silly. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. They are very similar to our Fig Newtons. Yes. I would say the biscuit or the cake around the filling, uh, firmer. I, like I was it. thinking that too. I think ours are, well, as I mentioned, ours are on the softer side. Yeah. But these are good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I don't get Fig Newtons very often, but I do enjoy them. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. So look forward to finishing those up. Yes. <laughs> good choice. Yeah. Definitely enjoy that. Now we can say we've tried the Fig Rolls. And, oops. And confirm they are very similar to our fig newtons. Do you remember the first time you had a, a fig roll, fig newton? No, I don't. Probably sometime when I was a kid. Oh, really? I think I was a teenager. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it was just one of those uh, types of cookies. My parents, when they went shopping, grocery shopping, they never picked them up. I think it was one of the few types of cookies my mom did not attempt making. Mm -hmm. and she made a lot of baked items, but um, no, I think it was a like a teenager, okay. late teenager, but after trying, I was like, oh, this is what a fig, fig Newton tastes like. Finally, is mm -hmm. trying to say, oh yeah. Well, yeah, they're good, and they always seem like they're probably not any more healthy, but you know, you see here, made with 30% fruit, so. Yeah. Better Sounds than good. a straight sugary cookie, I guess. Right. So what do you feel like next? Let's let's dig into this Battenberg cake. I know you're, you're curious. This is from M&S, because I know in the past when we did biscuits and cakes, mm -hmm. A few of our viewers had mentioned the Battenberg cake, which we we're not familiar with at all. And you can see on the edge there, it's got these little pink and white squares. So I'm curious, and I think it mentions something about having almond. Sugar board of moist sponge wrapped in almond flavored paste. So okay. that sounds good. I know we do like almond flavor yes. items and desserts. So around uh, Christmas, you go crazy looking for marzipan. Oh, this smells really good. Does it? After a little cross section there, looks very interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's got sponge cake, like pink and white sponge cake covered in almond. Yes. Sort of an almond paste or like the marzipan. Yes. Ready? I don't think I'd call that a frosting. It looks delicious. It's very moist. Mm-hmm. What do you 
Hmm. That's nice, especially since I really do enjoy the almond. Yeah, you can really taste that almond mm -hmm. flavor. Like um, is it like sugar crystals in the icing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something a little crunchy. Definitely like that almond flavor. Yeah. The almond definitely adds something to it for sure. This might make a nice after dinner dessert. Mm hmm. I love this icing. Me too. That's what really makes it for me. Like, I think of it if it was just the cake. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of like, cake can sometimes be an easy pass for me. You know, I'm, I'm more of an ice cream person, but with that almond on the outside, that really makes it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Glad we had a chance to try it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It just looks pretty too with the checkerboard pattern. Yeah. Kind of surprised with um, <clears throat> typical cakes that we have here, even snack cakes, like an almond type frosting is really not an option. Mm -hmm. We don't really have it, but that's a nice, nice change. I like mm -hmm. that. I don't know if we have an equivalent to that here. I don't either, either cause I'm thinking I wouldn't even necessarily consider that a frosting when I think of the type of frostings we have on our cake. Where like you stick your finger in it, you get it's all over the place. Whereas this is a little bit different texture and consistency. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. enjoyed that. Yes, that was yeah. very good. Yeah, I might be sneaking some tonight after you go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, what next? Um, let's go ahead and try these twenty-two millionaire bites. I'm very curious about these. These are from Tesco. It says with milk chocolate biscuit layered with caramel and topped with chocolate for richness. Hmm. Boop. Being from Tesco, these are a store brand, a store that we don't have here, at least not in our area. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Another good one. Yeah. Those flavors go nicely together. You get a little bit of the biscuit, a little bit of the caramel. The chocolate. And a little bit of the chocolate. Yeah. Mm. I don't think we have an equivalent to this. I, mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever tried an equivalent to this, but this is good. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, not that I'm aware of. Those are nice. And you know what's kind of nice, too? Portion control? <laughs> There's that, yeah. <laughs> of course, there are many more in here. I just got to think, I said 22 millionaire bites, as if that was part of the name. Does that just mean there's 22 in here? <laughs> My mistake. Not being familiar with this at all. Maybe they're just called millionaire bites, but they weren't overly sweet to me either, because you know, sometimes with caramel, it can be pretty sweet, but they weren't, to me, too much. Yeah. You know, you can... Definitely eat multiple, which might be kind of <laughs> dangerous without feeling like you're getting too much sugary goodness. Yeah. I'm it. sure there's plenty of sugar in there, but just, you know how sometimes the caramel can be really, really sweet. That okay. and um, when I was taking a, when I was trying it, the first thing that hit me was the caramel didn't automatically have that um, typical caramel taste. It almost... We have a salted caramel, very popular that we see. Mm -hmm. It was almost the sweet and salty yeah. at the same time. It was kind of nice. And actually the bottom, the biscuit part, remind me a little bit of graham crackers. It, yes, that's... Almost like, like you get the graham cracker crusts on pies sometimes. That, mm -hmm. that reminded me of a graham cracker plus the uh, chocolate and caramel. They're down to 20 millionaire bucks. <laughs> probably down to 12 tonight. Yeah. All right. Those. Another good one. Those are good. Yeah, last yeah. two really fun because we haven't seen anything like that here for sure. Yeah, really don't have an equivalent. All right, Ooh. next I was thinking maybe one of these um, cakes. I don't know if you want to try the walnut classic whips. I, I'm not going to say no to any of these, <laughs> but um, I know these walnut chocolate whips, we, the last time that we were at Touch of Britain, 
they had something very equivalent. I know uh, it wasn't the same brand, but they, they looked very similar. The, the shape of it with the walnut on top. So I'm assuming that. Um, yeah. These are also from M&S. They just look very festive too. I wonder if we can try to cut that in half or if that'll just be too hard with the walnut. Is that a challenge? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Challenge accepted. Let's see how I butcher it. I guess I like, because since there's only three, I'm trying to conserve yes. it. And because we still have a lot to try. Yeah. But yeah, when we were at the Touch of Britain the last time, a few weeks ago, um, we saw something similar, but we'd never seen it there before. They're always getting new and different things. Yeah, for our first attempt, I'm not doing bad. You can see the cross section of it. And on the package it does say, milk chocolates filled with soft mallow and decorated with a half walnut. Yeah, I can't think of any American equivalent we have of this. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. <laughs> mm. I just made a big mess. Mmm. <laughs> that's nice. That was good. Mm hmm. Something about the chocolate and the walnut. Yeah, this goes very nicely together. How do you feel about walnuts? I like walnuts, actually. Mm. Actually, the chocolate was thicker on it than I was expecting. Yes. You know, I went to go bite through it and it was kind of falling apart, and that made it really good. So it's very chocolatey. A little bit of that softer. As it said, mallow. You know, a lot of ours are, have the marshmallow. Yeah, which, it, which are not as good. Hmm? I know you're not a, a fan of marshmallow, and um, but it was softer. Mm-hmm. And that, that flavor of the chocolate with the walnut together. Yeah. yeah. I think some of my walnut may have fallen on the floor. Yeah, make sure. <laughs> I have Finn to pick that up later. Yeah. Yeah. So I was eating it, but yeah, that that was really nice. It felt very decadent and, and yeah. rich. Now are we going to be hungry enough to try the rest? Because ooh, that was filling. I'm glad we I'm glad we split it in half because that was that was richer than expected. Maybe we need to do that with the remaining. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That, that could be a challenge with the, the tea cake and yeah, but that was good. That's what I was thinking. That next, let's try these salted caramel tea cakes. Now we've had tonics tea cakes before. Loved them. Mm -hmm. that but, makes, I'm really curious to try these. But these are. M and S sixteen salted caramel tea, tea cakes, and they look fantastic from the packaging. Mm -hmm. Looks like they might be individually wrapped in some gold wrapping. Yes. Kind of like that. We noticed that with the Tunnex tea cakes. Maybe it's very fancy to have them individually yeah. wrapped. I'm sorry, ashamed to open them. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Want to attempt to cut it in half? Yeah, let's cut it in half. We still have more to go. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be getting full. Yeah, so this is a salted caramel flavor mallow on a biscuit base covered in milk chocolate. So I guess that'll be the difference, say, from like the Tunnocks, which would just be the plain. This will have a little salted caramel flavor. Yes. I'll give you the clean side. <laughs> one one side came out pretty decently intact. I got the shrapnel. So if you want to um, show off the cross section. Oh. oh. Boop. That's what it looks like in the center. Yes. Looks very much like the uh, Tonics tea cake that we had. Mm-hmm. Tonics tea cakes, I think, are you get fewer of them. There, each one is bigger. Yeah. I think Whereas this one looks like you get more with um, smaller, yeah. more portion control sizes. Yeah, I think the the ones from Tonics were six in a package. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> get a lot of that salted caramel oh, yeah. flavor. That's good. Definitely sweet. Like I was thinking, compared to the 
the millionaire bites where I felt like, oh, the at caramel it's not too not too sweet. It's uh, definitely more subtle. These are more on the sweet side. Yeah, these are. Oh my. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Those are good. We've become a big fan of tea cakes. Yeah. But yeah, we never tried one with the flavored mallow, so that was nice to try. That was. It's like after we're having the tongues tea cakes. It's like, oh, how can you improve on this? It's like, yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a nice. That's a nice variation of it. Mm -hmm. mm. I definitely have to eat these in moderation, though, because boy, that would that would really catch up with me. I think the sweetness of the oh yeah the salted caramel. But I'm kind of curious: do these come in other flavors? Does M and S make additional flavors besides the salted caramel? I'm kind of curious now. Uh, Let us know down in the comments. Toffee flavored. I don't know. Good question. Yeah. Okay, we have three remaining items. What do you feel like next? Let's save the two ginger ones for last and. Okay. This is another one, Hob Vitty's Hobnob Sticky Toffee Pudding. So we've tried the Hobnobs before. Did we just get plain milk chocolate? We, we, we did. We did. We did pick up plain milk chocolate. Right. Yeah, because in our Cost Plus World Market, they often will have just like the milk chocolate, the very just the basic plain ones. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to find those. Last time we were at Touch of Britain, they had a ton of different flavored Hobnobs. We we're surprised because normally they just have the basic chocolate ones without the flavors. And, we actually picked, looked at that. We did. We were very tempted to get that sticky toffee pudding flavor. Oh and we didn't do it. So we're really excited to be able to try it. Yes. And also the last time we were there, we actually picked up for the first time after looking for weeks, months, sticky toffee and puds. Yeah. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Puds? Puds. Puds. Yeah. Puds. So we'll be trying those in an upcoming video because we've been very curious to try that sticky toffee pudding we've heard so much about. <laughs> so maybe we'll get a little preview. Up. You ready? Mmm. Oh, good. Mm hmm. Like that light layer of chocolate on top. Yeah. A little extra sweetness from the mm. sticky toffee. Like a, I'm presuming. Like a, a toffee aftertaste? Is that it? Are, are you getting those aftertaste? I don't know about aftertaste. I kind of taste it the whole way. That's good. Let's go nicely with a cup of coffee, cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I'm thinking this would be hard to dunk with the chocolate on them. You melt it right off. But... I'll give it a try. <laughs> you give it a try anyway? I'll give it a try anyway. That'd be good for yeah. coffee because I like it when the chocolate mixes in with coffee. Yes. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Mm. Those are good. I forgot how many different flavored hobnobs they had there, but it seems like they're coming out with a lot of different flavors than just the standard chocolate ones. So what's the difference between... Okay, McVitie's mix hobnobs, clearly. Mm-hmm. McVitie's also makes digestives. Digestives, yeah. So what's the difference between a digestive and a... Is it the, the hobnobs more oats? I was going to say, isn't it made with oats or something like that? But it's, they're just the plain ones too, don't they? I, I don't remember tasting oats in digestives, and I didn't know. Well, it's a completely different recipe. I don't know. If you can... Yeah, oaty biscuits. Oaty biscuits. Covered okay. in milk chocolate. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, because it does have a little bit more of the oatmeal kind of tight flavor to it. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah. That answers up. Mystery yep. solved. I don't remember, though, in the digestive that they have so many different flavors the way they seem to have with the hobnobs. Yeah. Uh, oh, we just haven't run across them. That could be, too. Yeah, that, that could be. Yeah. Right, it seems like every time we go to our, our Brit store, we see something we haven't seen the, the last time we were there. Mm -hmm. So there could be a big variety that we just don't have exposure to. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's always fun to check there and just see what they, what they have, have in stock, what got what they got new and... Yeah. Okay. All right. Getting down to two items. Another item from McVitie's. We're going to try the ginger nuts. Yeah. The fiery one, it says. I wonder, this kind of looks like something we probably should be having tea for. We don't have any tea made right at the moment. I got to say, my... Assumption about these is completely wrong. First time I heard ginger nuts mentioned was on a TV. It was a British TV show, Peep Show. Oh. 
Uh, Jer the character Jeremy was offered something like a candy or a cookie, and he said, I prefer ginger nuts, please. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just like a ginger-coated walnut or a ginger-coated cashew. Oh, you're soda. thinking actual nut nuts. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I just assumed it was a ginger-coated dried nut or mm -hmm. roasted nut. I had no idea they were actually biscuits. So biscuit, when I yeah. saw them in our Cost Plus store, I thought, oh, it's actually a biscuit. It's not actually a coated nut. Okay. Want to try to eat a whole one? Yeah. Oh, this one broke a little bit. There we go. Why don't you take the whole one and I'll take the broken one. I'm good. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you, are you brace yourself for the fiery one. Boop. Oh, you can smell the ginger. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a lot of ginger flavor in there. Ooh. The moment I put it close to my face, I could smell yeah, it. Yeah, you could really smell that kind of fresh ginger smell. Yeah, these mm -hmm. are good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's a bite to it. Mm hmm. Mm. They weren't kidding about the fiery one. No. I do like that they're very flavorful. Mm hmm. Because they're a little bit more crumbly and hard, I could definitely see dunking this in some tea. Yes. And enjoying that, yeah. With um, <clears throat> the Christmas holiday, we kind of went overboard getting these ginger cookies, ginger snaps, chocolate covered ginger cookies. And they, they did have a definite ginger taste to it, but not as strong as this. No. This is good. Really different experience because, yeah, you're thinking of some of the German gingerbreads we got that sometimes would have like a citrus flavoring in them as well, which was right. a little bit different. So yeah, totally different experience. And those were like very soft cookies. Yeah, yeah. These are the, the mm -hmm. more hard biscuits. Mm -hmm. And you're right, the, the German ones uh, did have some citrus to them, but that gingerbread was not as, as strong as these. Mm -hmm. I mean, they both have their, their pros. Yep. But, um, I was not expecting that. that these are good. Mm. Those go good with tea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Mm -hmm. Make a really nice combination. Nice. Yeah, next time I have those, I think I'm going to have a cup of tea with them. Yeah, cleared my sinuses. <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah. No surprise. So strong. I feel like I'm becoming more of a tea drinker too. Yeah, I. me too. And I. I blame it on you. you um, <laughs> well, I was never much of a coffee drinker, but I think that uh, over the last couple of years, I think we're drinking more, more coffee. But I wasn't much of a tea drinker either, but I've been drinking more tea as a result of these boxes mm -hmm. and, and foods that we've been picking up and trying and these suggestions. So, you know, try uh, digest it with tea. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, liking it. Yeah. Okay. So. I've been enjoying it too because I am definitely a big coffee drinker. Every morning I have to have my coffee. That's the one thing. First thing in the morning, I need my coffee, but sometimes mid morning or in the afternoon, tea actually sounds nice. And mm -hmm. tea is one of those drinks I have to have it with a little little sugar and a little milk. No sugar in my coffee, but tea, I love having it with a little sugar. <laughs> yeah, you start your day with coffee. Yep. <laughs> and Farmville. <laughs> like it's my work. routine. It's your routine. You have your routines in the morning. Before you take off for work, it's calming. <laughs> Working on your virtual farm. So our last one, also from M&S here, extremely chocolatey dark chocolate ginger biscuits. Mm. More chocolate than biscuit, it says. So I'm curious about these because around Christmas time in Cost Plus B saw from the Walker's brand, they had some kind of chocolate covered ginger biscuits that I was so intrigued with. I yeah. almost picked them up. They're really I thought overpriced. They were they're pretty expensive, so I ended up not getting them. But I was so curious to try that chocolate and ginger combination, so I'm really excited to be able to try these. Okay, these look good. You had me have more chocolate than biscuit. <laughs> Typically, we don't see that in advertising here. No, because looking at the picture, I'm thinking it looks like more biscuit than chocolate to me. But we will see. No, they remind me. Of. That looks like ever. Um, the graphic kind of reminds me Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies, yeah. In fact, we were just out today. We were. And it's that time of year when the Girl Scouts are selling their cookies. $5 a box. Yeah, they're 
They're trying to get us to buy a box, and I was so tempted because I love their peanut butter. They're with peanut butter chocolate yeah, cookies. You are. Um, mm. That smells super good. You really smell the chocolate on these. Yeah. Yes, the Girl Scouts right now are full <laughs> force, out in full force. Sell the cookies. Love their cookies. Just the uh, graphic on the photo on the box just kind of reminds me. Oh, that kind of resembles. It does remind me because they have a couple different ones that are chocolate covered with the with the cookie biscuit inside. And yes. Probably if we didn't have so many sweets at home, I would have gotten a box or two or three from them. <laughs> Tons <of> stuff. <laughs> Mm. 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 Those definitely have a lot of chocolate. You can really oh, get the yeah. dark chocolate flavor on them. They're, that's mm -hmm. not a. That is not a misleading statement. Oh, I love that chocolate. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. It's like first you get a lot of the chocolate flavor. Then that ginger biscuit starts to come through. That combination. It's like a perfect amount of chocolate. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm wondering. Is it supposed to be kind of like a chocolate-covered ginger nut? Is that sort of the M&S take on that? Maybe. Because hmm. it definitely has that strong ginger flavor to it. I don't know if that, that, that thick layer of chocolate on mm -hmm. top. Yeah, that's that's top notch. Mm. Yeah, that's an interesting combination. Mm-hmm. I think initially you were thinking about those chocolate covered gingerbread cookies that we had seen from Germany. Yes. The Lebkuchen, but mm -hmm. totally different. Totally different experience. Yeah, I would yeah. say those German gingerbread cookies that we picked up. Um I thought they were softer, which was fine. But the layer of chocolate is, is much thinner compared to this, and also there'd be like maybe some citrus flavor mm -hmm. as well. It's just a totally different experience, I think. But uh, you, you can't go wrong with <laughs> a nice thick layer of dark chocolate. And oh yeah. Okay, madam. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, did you have a favorite? Oh man. <laughs> Boy, am I full now. I'm having a hard time even finishing this, <laughs> this biscuit up. Oh, a favorite. Uh, after we've tried everything in this particular two or three videos, did you have a favorite? I'm, I'm having a hard enough time choosing a favorite out of these. Okay. I have, um, I really like these Millionaire Bites. Those There's good. something about those that were really good. I mean, not that... They were all good in their own way. Each one was a little different, but these were definitely something unique and I feel like I could have a few and not get too overly full. Of course, I'm saying this now, This, this I feel like we couldn't give the, the full attention to this last biscuit here just because I'm starting to get <laughs> full. So I always do like, I enjoy when we go back and you know the next couple nights we're gonna be getting back into these, of course, yes. and being able to sample them just on their own. And sometimes I have a, a different experience. You know, I think, oh wow, I like this even more. Now, probably just because I haven't tried everything else. You know, it gets to stand out on its own. So it makes it really hard when we're trying a lot at once, those, those last ones, if you're feeling a little bit full like I am right now. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoyed these. I might pick this out as a standout, but you know, I do love do love those tea cakes. Big mm -hmm. fan of tea cakes. And that Battenberg cake was really good too, uh, especially yeah. looking for something a little lighter. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And I also enjoyed that that strong ginger flavor in the last two biscuits that we had. That was something really nice and unique compared to, you know, some of the gingerbread, which I do enjoy gingerbread a lot, but if you're looking for that stronger ginger taste that's really good in fact i don't know if you've ever tried actual ginger candies that trader no. joe's sells them and they're chewy and they're have a really strong ginger flavor okay. try to remember the name of them i forgot they come in a little green wrapping okay. and they kind of have like a little bit of wax paper around them and they're very chewy they're good though they're very good they, if you like that strong ginger flavor you'd probably like them if you haven't had them before and they're, they're almost chewy like not like a gummy they're a bit stickier than that but mm. they're really good Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here. No, was just, I, I distinctly remember it was either Grocery Outlet or Trader Joe's. There was like a bag. It was like 
on the packaging it looked like a ginger root with a face on it. I don't know if they're that called, was it. That was yeah, ginger chews. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I know which ones you're talking yeah. about. I don't recall ever having one. Yeah, they're good, but I think if you like the ginger nuts, you'd probably like those too. Did you also have those like when you were feeling sick? Yeah, ginger is supposed to be really good for you when you're feeling sick. Yeah. Gotcha. How about you? Well, that is a tough, tough one. Okay, if I was to pick my favorite, I can reason with Tina, part of my reach. What I liked about these was uh, the combination, the flavors with it. Like you had mentioned, there was the graham, it almost tastes like there was a graham cracker crust mm -hmm. to it. And these almost taste like they're the homemade, mm -hmm. which was a nice touch. I thought so too. They remind me of a homemade item. They do. I could, I could imagine my mother making these. So, but uh, everything was was trying to pick a favorite is really <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Um, uh, I I would say I would toss up between these millionaire bites and these salted caramel tea cakes. But everything was good. There, there wasn't one item I just thought, eh, I didn't, never want to have that again. No, everything was, was good. I just, I'm having a really hard time struggling. Yeah. What was, you? also those M&S, those. Uh, the walnut whips. Yeah. Yeah. So, I it would say. especially decadent to me. <laughs> yeah, nice thick layer of chocolate. But, it's <laughs> nice layer of chocolate with these ginger cookies. I would say it's a toss up between these two items here, the Millionaire Bites and the Salted Caramel Tea Cakes. But there's plenty of runner ups, so. <laughs> and if you're not gonna finish your cookie, I will. <laughs> so, yeah. But everything was good. So yeah. again, Roland, thank you thank very you. much. And we have one more left. We have the savory items plus a couple um, just little extra ones that didn't quite fit that we're going to put in there. Yeah. So we're looking forward to trying those savory items in an upcoming video. You just have to burn off the calories we just ate right now. Yeah, I think maybe it's time for a nap. Yeah, it's nap, <laughs> it's, it's nap time. As long as the sugar doesn't get to us. and yeah. yeah. All right, so if you like food reactions and food unboxings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.